reventó. Ella me dice a mi papi, yo quiero empezar a cantar. Yo le dije, mami, vamos con todo. Vamos a aprovechar la oportunidad y vamos a reunirnos con diferentes disqueras y vamos a hablar con diferentes disqueras. Y ahí disqueras empieza la relación. Disqueras te puede firmar. Entonces, cuando Sony vino y le pagó la millonada de dinero que le pagó, Ahí estaba Puffy incluido en ese contrato porque Puffy iba a ser uno de los productores de varios temas en la en el primer disco Ondes. Y ahí fue donde empezaron la relación las, de trabajo. Las, los engaños, ahí donde empezaron las mentiras, ahí donde empezaron wow. la, la, la separación. Yo estaba en Los Ángeles abriendo Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please help support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. I do appreciate the support. Now let's talk about Jennifer, I mean J-Ho. J-Ho. Well, Jennifer Lopez's ex-husband, Ohani Noha, is speaking out, okay? He is saying the things that I've said that many of us who are in the know have said, okay? Jennifer Lopez, ex-husband, Ohani, blames Sean Diddy Combs for running, for running, ay, 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 for ruining their happy marriage. During an appearance on Spanish-language talk show, The Espierta America, Noah shared what led to the end of his short-lived marriage with Jennifer Lopez from 1997 to 1998. When asked what led to their breakup, Noah declared part of that divorce was Diddy's fault. When Sony came and paid her the millions she got, there was Puffy, who was going to be one of the producers of several tracks on the first album. He told the outlet in Spanish, that's where the deception, the lies, and the separation started. Noah said Jennifer had already begun seeing Diddy behind his back. He found out about their relationship while she was on the East Coast recording her album. I was in Los Angeles opening my restaurant and she was between Miami and New York working on the album. When I could, I would go to be with her there. And that distance and that separation was where the deception started. Noah alleged that Jennifer blackballed him and sabotaged his chance at several jobs. I would ask Jennifer, what did I do to you so that you have taken me to court? You have accused me, you have lied, you have created false things about me, and you have called several companies to throw me out and different television networks not to give me work. Why, if I have not done anything to you? Let her tell the truth. Let her tell everything that happened. Wow. Jennifer Lopez did it, did he, from 1999 to 2001. And you do know Diddy is currently in a Brooklyn jail where he is awaiting trial on SEX trafficking charges. See, I've said this. Jennifer Lopez is an opportunist. She's a cheater. She's she slept her way to the top. She um every industry she wants to kind of like get into, she'll date someone in there. Her first album, because she can't sing, Diddy, okay? She worked with Diddy. She slept with Diddy. She didn't like Diddy. Diddy was with Kim, okay? Diddy was with Kim. And Jennifer, that didn't stop Jennifer. That didn't stop their affair. And Kim did not like Jennifer Lopez. Kim did not want her kids near Jennifer, okay? Kim Porter did not like Jennifer Lopez. Actually, nobody likes Jennifer Lopez. Anyway, after she got into the hip-hop, the black community through music because Diddy helped her majorly because that lady cannot sing, okay? So once she got that, she wanted in, in the Latin community, okay? Guess what she did? She learned Spanish because she said her Spanish sucked. She couldn't speak Spanish very well. She learned it. And guess who she got with? 
Mark Anthony. She started having an affair with Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony was married at the time, was married. Then out of nowhere, the divorce started, they broke up. Him and his wife broke up. And then that's when the news came out about Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony on our dating. They came out publicly. Okay? And guess what? After that, she wanted to be back in movies. Right? In movies. But she wanted the white community. Right? She wanted the white community. So guess what? She freaking got with Ben Affleck. After they starred in the movie Geely, a oh, terrible movie, by the way. And, of course, she wanted to be in the white community, the A-list. Guess what? She started de dealing with Ben Affleck and obsessed over him because this is who she wanted. This is what she wanted to be at the top, A-list, dating A-listers. So she, you know, and then... The the they were they were you know, engaged. Ben Affleck cheated on her, right? And then called out the call off the wedding. Okay, three days, three days before the wedding. He called it off. Wedding got canceled. His mom did not like her, and she's been obsessed with him, the one who got away. And then when they both got old. In their 50s, you know, washed up. That's when she said, okay, you know what? He's going to date me now because he's he's a drunk and, yeah, his life is just whatever. So they got back together. And he said he regretted that mess. He regretted getting back with Jennifer Lopez. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, my God. He really said that. He said he regretted he regretted marrying Jennifer Lopez. You see, that's why they should not have gotten back. But she reached out to him when he was at a vulnerable place after Alex dumped her, was cheating on her. You know, and it, it, the thing is, she knew Alex's type. Alex has a type. And Jennifer Lopez was so desperate to be in the public with a guy, you know, everywhere they went. It was like blasted on blogs, you know. She loved it. She loved the attention. And yeah, and she was trying to become a bodybuilder because Alex liked hard legs. He liked very, very muscular women, white women. And Jennifer Lopez was just dying to be muscular. She just looked very manly at one time. Because of Alex. And so that didn't work out. And she didn't have anywhere else to go. She's like, damn, who do I date now? No one is knocking at my door. Let me knock at my old ex door. <laughs> so she knocked, at, uh, she knocked on Ben Affleck's door. And yeah, he was vulnerable. He was at a depression moment. At that time, and yeah, he's like, okay, let's do this. And <laughs> look where we are now. They are getting a divorce less than two years, okay? They hit the two-year mark, but they had already been broken up before they hit the two-year marriage mark, whatever. So yeah, so Jennifer Lopez, and I've said this before in my videos, she did blackball Ohani because I remember reading about he um he wanted to write a book and then she stopped the book from coming out. He was going to put her on blast. Talk about her, you know, her witchcraft, Santeria, you know, she loved to dabble in that, you know, love spells. That's why she cannot keep a man. She be doing witchcraft on them. You know, and it backfires. So she sacrificed real love for fame and money, right? She could have she could have a good freaking marriage with Ohani. They look good together. You see her old face. This was her. She had so many work done. 
You see, look how she looked back then. You know, she had like several nose jobs and other things done. But she could have had a great marriage. Who knows? With Ohani. But no, she wanted fame so bad. She went from being a dancer and living color. And who exposed her? Was it Jamie Foxx or one of the William brothers? They said, yeah, yeah, they slept with her. She was, yeah, she, she was passed around in living color days, right? And I think it was uh, Jamie Foxx who, who called her, who gave her the nickname J-Ho, okay? So we've been saying this. This is not new, okay? And she blackballed her ex-husband from writing his book and from getting jobs. That's crazy because you wanted fame, because you cheated with Diddy, okay? While he was with Kim and, oh man, Jennifer Lopez. And then now it, it came out, people were saying she the one that carried the G-U-N at the club that night when this lady was shot. And this other guy, I think he, he passed away. I know he was shot as well, but um, yeah, so so people are speaking out. So Jennifer Lopez, yeah, your time is up. Your time is up, okay? Because you've done so much. You are a narcissist. You don't care about people. You selfish. And look... Look, trying to stop the man, your first husband, trying to stop his bag, <laughs> his bag, <laughs> trying to stop him from getting work because you, you cheated. That's crazy. You cheated on the guy and then yet you wanted to silence him. You did all this to him, all this stuff you did to him. Well, now it's coming out, so that's good. People are speaking out. And now look, she's going through her fourth divorce, okay? This is someone who is never going to find true love that she is chasing. But yet, look at the stuff she's she's done. So she will not find true love because she sacrificed true love for this, for fame. So, yeah, her first husband could have been the guy, but no. And now look, now she's going from men to men, talking about, I just want true love. I just want to find true love. Right. So, remember uh, on the MTV Diary she did in 2000, she said that she cannot be alone. She struggles with being alone, with being by herself. We know that. We've been knew that. We know she cannot be alone. She goes from men to men, you know. But, yeah, so, yeah, so poor Ohani. I'm glad he's speaking out. We've been knew this. I'm glad he's speaking out. He's letting people know who J-Lo really is. And did you see the picture of her in the bed with uh, Diddy, Aaliyah, and Dame Dash and and then that other guy, I forgot his name, that Diddy was, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so she been knew about Diddy. Jennifer didn't, didn't care. She did not care, okay? All she cared about is her fame and making it to the top. And now she at the top, guess what? It's very lonely at the top because of all the toes, all the shoes she stepped on on her way up she stepped on a lot of toes on her way up and now she's up there she's lonely she can't find anyone to love her she can't find true love she can't find anyone to love her so all of that money all that fame and yet you are unhappy you don't have any real love you are miserable okay and annoying so yeah, 
That's the price you pay for fame and selling your soul and dabbling and love spells. So yeah, you guys, what are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for the support. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.